Greetings, dear friends. I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Volkswagen bar. Legend has it that Volkswagen doesn't rust due to its extra strong double sized sink plating. It's easy to convince yourself that it is a myth. Take a look at any second, third, or even fifth generation Golf and you will see many rust spots. The second and third Golfs runs more likely due to age and poor operating conditions, and the fifth because of the frankly poor quality of the paint. But the fourth generation and Volkswagen Bora are currently in a very fortunate position. Galvanizing was not yet finished, and the quality of painting in those years was still in its best. And therefore, cars do not have so many point defects and even more frank corrosion. The paint can peel off in layers, but if you tint it on time, it's not scary, the metal holds. In the rest zone sills, especially their front and rear edges, rear arches, arches and sandblasting places. Corrosion is common in loaded joints, but in most cases it is not a big deal. The leading edge of the bonnet and boot lid are also at risk. Slight corrosion in the attachment point of the subframes and bumpers and, well, that's it. We can assume that these machines are in excellent condition for their age. By the way, pay attention to the windshields. On cars manufactured before the thousands, the windshield frame is rather weak. This entails glass cracking when the body is skewed and increases the chances of corrosion of this element. The interior doesn't hold up that well, despite the fact that initially the quality of manufacturing of interior parts corresponded rather to cars a class higher. Now the salon may already be in a very sad state. Nevertheless, a car of this class has been used for a slaughter since birth. And there were enough weaknesses. The places of contact between the driver and the passenger compartment, buttons, steering wheel are wiped. The seats may still be in good shape, but this is provided that the drivers were all slender. Interior equipment also suffers. Seat adjustment mechanism, ventilation system, buttons, handles are already loose, and sometimes they just don't work. The fan of the climate system most likely has already been replaced a couple of times. Its resource is enough for thousands of 80-150 km, and the mileage of these cars is far beyond 300. Do not look to the odometer. The owners when often themselves do not know how many times they have rolled up the mileage before them. There is also an extremely simple electrical circuit without any special troubles and thick tricks. And everything works well even in the old age if the machine has avoided unskilled intervention. The wiring is already aging, the insulation in the engine compartment is becoming fragile, problems with oxidation of the contracts of the lighting system and sensors under the hood regularly appear, but the number of failures is still very small. The most serious problems are the failure of the heater fan control system on cars with climate control and malfunctioning of the radiator fans. The bulkhead of generators is proceeding according to the schedule once every 150 to 100,000 km, but the price of the procedure is not high. Regular failures of ignition modules are typical for FSI engines and very rare 2.8 VR6, and the control system of 8 valve ones is as reliable as AK47. In cars with a power steering pressure sensor, it can cause loading idle speed. ABS units fail relatively often, and it is not always easy to find a replacement, especially if you do not have a car with an 8 valve 1.6 2.0 engine. So if the speedometer malfunctions or a blocked error is on, be vigilant. In any case, the edge is already such that absolutely everything can break, from the steering wheel to the switching unit. It's just that serious breakdowns rarely occur, and small ones will definitely not get it. The suspension here is an example of simplicity and functionality. A person strut at the front and a simple roll bar at the back. It breaks down infrequently, it can withstand serious loads. The price of spare parts is so ridiculous that service and ladder brands will almost certainly be more expensive. Weak spots. What are we talking about? This design has been perfect for two decades. As usual, the anti-roll bar rods are consumable, and the first in the suspension are the supports of the front struts and the rear silent block of the front arm, especially if the springs are sagging. At the rear, the silent blocks of shock absorbers and spring cushions most often fail. The resource of the original beam silent blocks is almost endless. There is only one serious problem. Spare parts have been produced only in China for a long time, even original ones. And the quality is steadily declining, so that often the non-original can be stronger. All-wheel drive versions of 4Motion have their own rear suspension, which is not as strong and much more rare and expensive. But even in this case, there are no two expensive consumables. Two wishbone bushings are inexpensive, as are the trailing arm bushings, but they need to be changed every 50-70,000 km with hard use and every 100-120,000 under normal use. Check absorbers, especially with the package for bad roads or additional entrance, serve for a long time and even tolerate casual trips on primers in a leaden state. In general, there was simply nothing to complain about. The brakes also work almost perfectly. Calipers rarely turn sour, brake pipes fail even less often. Only the aforementioned ABS unit and wheel sensors fail. Again, any problem can be solved very cheaply. 
unless components for four-wheel drive cars are more expensive and are less common. This terrain also pleases with stability and reliability. Cars with mileage over 200 usually already knock, but leaks are rare and easily repaired. The power steering pump is quite reliable, the main thing is not to miss the liquid level. Sometimes the pump pressure sensor leaks, very rarely the pads are brought in. The splendor is slightly spoiled by weak steering tips and rods, whose resource when operating on bad roads is often less than 30-40 thousand kilometers. But this is an inexpensive part, and the malfunction is easily diagnosed. In addition, there are reinforced non-original parts. Manual gearboxes here are extremely reliable and do not cause unnecessary trouble, unless the drive with rods is usually loose and the gears turn on poorly. It is inexpensively treated. The hills of plastic bushings and work, but for some reason, few are repaired. In older cars, problems are usually associated with the missed oil level or differential damage when slipping. In any case, replacing the unit with a contact one will be inexpensive. With motors 2.0, 2.3 and 2.8, external CV joints often do not withstand age and insufficient safety margin effect. A similar problem on collective farm overpriced machines with any motors. Automatic transmissions are inferior to mechanics. Basically, these cars were equipped with an automatic 4-speed gearbox of Volkswagen on production of the 01M series. This series of automatic transmissions was installed on many cars of the concern and is related to the 01N box for cars with a longitudinal engine. On engines with a working volume of 2.3 and 2.8 liters, a reinforced modification of the box with the designation 01P was installed. In fact, this is one and the same unit in several dozen versions, depending on the year of manufacture, engine power and other design features. This is not to say that the box is frankly problematic, it can even be called successful, especially since it is still being produced. It is equipped with the Chinese version of the Passat. A resource before overhaul of 120 to 100,000 km is quite common for it, but the abundance of plastic elements in the structure, washer washers, stops for return springs or even their flywheel bearing cage, leads to the fact that in case of breakdowns many elements fail at once. The case is completed by not very reliable wiring and the early wearing of the blocking plate of the gas turbine engine. Eight automatic transmissions are prone to overheating and heavy contamination of the oil with gearbox wear products, which in turn leads to a sharp acceleration of aging. This means that it is impossible to find a contractor unit so beloved by Russian motorists in good conditions. Fortunately, these boxes are repaired very successfully, as usually if the automatic transmission is still alive, then it is recommended to change the oil at least once every 40-60 thousand kilometers and an external radiator with a filter. By the way, it's not at all necessary to pour in the extremely expensive original oil. All wheel drive versions with Holdex clutch do not present any special problems. Another thing is that the work of all wheel drive and the first Holdex is not particularly accurate, the handling rather worsens, and the traction on the slippery surface is very uneven. The clutch itself is quite expensive, as well as the work on it. The Bora motors are very lucky. The most common of them, 8 well 1.8 and 2.0 liters, are distinguished by impressive reliability and resource and they are inexpensive and convenient to repair. If you follow the control system at least sometimes twist them over 300-3000 revolution per minute and at the same time do not anneal them too often, serve them with a good oil on time, then with runs for 230-300 thousand kilometers, they feel very good. Engine 1.6, by the way, is familiar to many. It is a close relative of 1.6-102 power, power engine on Skoda and Volkswagen on the PQ35 platform, where it has proven itself excellent. The 2-liter version is even better, it has noticeably more traction and its resource is higher. It is only during urban operation that the piston is more often cogged out. The absence of the need to turn the motor in the usual rhythm of movement affects. The 1.4 and 1.6 FSI engines are noticeably more modern, but this doesn't mean that they are better. Less maintainable design, little thrust and 1.6 also differs in very tough work, a tendency to cog pistons and valves and power system failures. It is highly recommended to avoid these motors, especially since they are rare. The magnificent EA113 1.8T is also rare, but for a turbocharged engine is very reliable. The timing is mixed, the camshafts are connected by a chain, but they are driven, but are driven from the crankshaft by a belt. The resource is high, despite the very complex design of the cylinder head with the 5 valves per cylinder and supercharging. The number of failures is noticeably higher than that of 8 valves, but the owners are usually satisfied, the characteristics speak for themselves, and even the boost margin is good. These very interesting units from the point of view of the owner are far from problem-free, but I would not call them nightmares. The timing belt of a not very successful design with an intermediate chain doesn't have a very large resource and is prone to jumping. The cylinder head design is complex and the repairs are expensive. But the total resource of the engine is more than worthy, and the versions with automatic transmissions, which were not driven, 
nurture all 200-300,000 km, subject to normal maintenance. Diesel engines are presented in several versions of the 1.9 liter 8 valve engine. There was even a naturally inspired version of the 68 horsepower engine, but most of the cars still have its turbocharged version with a capacity of 90 forces under the hood. Cars with a capacity of 110-150 liters are very rare. All options, except for the most powerful, are excellently reliable and have proven themselves well. The character of the motor is Nordic. The thrust is grassroots, which greatly distinguishes its character from the later 2.0 with 16 valves. Please note that the timing drive is here with the belt, which needs to be changed regularly and better together with the crankshaft gear, because serious consequences occur even with the belt slip by one tooth. How long such motor can pass remains a mystery. At taxi drivers, sometimes you can find Audi and Volkswagen with the engine and a mileage of half a million. In Europe, it is uncommon for it to run for 600-800 thousand with it. Well, no one knows by what circle the odometer are twisted on the cars on sale now. On this information about the problems of Volkswagen bore is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.